live coming from some guy's bedroom. This is the Dave Evans Show. Hey everybody, how you doing? Just a quick video, quick little rant, and a little explanation video on how YouTube works. Uh, sort of for the little gigantic baby trolls out there, but also for people who may or may not realize how things work on YouTube. First off, things don't happen overnight usually on YouTube. If you come across a creator who has a video with not very many likes, not very many views, and uh, but a whole bunch of work, like it looks like they're working and trying, chances are they haven't been doing it for very long. A lot of creators don't really start to get going till about three years into it. It takes a good 35 videos for the algorithm to even notice that you're trying to do something. And then it takes a while to get a good backlog of videos. Some of those videos may or may not start tracking for quite a while. You may notice on my channel, I have one video that has close to 3,500 views and another one that's uh, like ha I have a couple more that are like, you know, 2000 or 1,500, another one approaching a thousand. And sometimes it just happens all of a sudden, like you'll see one video only has one view. And then the next day it could have like a hundred views just out of nowhere. And that's not something you can predict or anyone else can predict because nobody really knows what's going to start tracking, what's going to start going viral, what people are going to start searching for. Whatever your niche is as well, kind of goes up and down in waves. It doesn't stay steady and steadily incline. You'll notice that you'll get views that go up and then it'll go down for a while and then it'll go back up. And there's like a certain rhythm to the, uh, to your views and likes and comments. You'll notice that you get a lot more subscribers when you get a lot more views and you'll get more likes around the same time. And generally you'll get a lot of dislikes and stuff like that when you make a lot of comments on YouTube, which is what I'm going to talk about next. Uh, you may notice that some of my videos have a high disproportionate amount of dislikes. And a lot of those happen around the time of the insurrection in the States, around the times of uh, other like, you know, big political things going on where I might have made a comment or two. A lot of them, uh, you know, fairly innocent, like I'm not swearing and being rude at people or anything, but I mean, sometimes things are absolutely ridiculous and you can't help but point it out. And I've actually mentioned in, a, in another video, you have to watch what you say because people will jump on you for that. They will come check out your channel, but not in a good way. They'll just come and, you know, kip, uh, quickly skim through a, a video and dislike it. If they even watch it at all, they may just hate your channel and dislike all the, all the views. I try not to let this stuff bother me too much, but I thought I'd make a little video on it because I think it's an interesting thing for people to take note of. It's not necessarily reflective of your content and your abilities at all. These comments and dislikes and everything are a lot more reflective of their own childishness and ignorance than it is of anything else. And in all honesty, all these dislikes and views really just tell the algorithm that people are engaging in your content. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Some people might be kind of thrown off by it, but I think more people might be actually more intrigued when they see a video, you know, a lot of activity there going on. If there's a lot of likes and dislikes, people might be like, well, why do so many people dislike it? And then they'll want to watch for themselves, right? And see if they like it or dislike it. So you see what I mean? It can go both ways, really. I have a feeling that the algorithm might actually favor any like or dislike. It's like the old saying goes, any publicity, good or bad, is in the end good publicity because it's getting your name out there. It's showing people that people are interested and regardless of whether they think it's good or bad, people are watching it. It's causing a uh, conversation to happen maybe. That's what people think in their minds. So if you're one of those gigantic baby trolls out there who can't handle people's comments, you would actually be doing a greater disservice if you just stayed away from people's videos, stayed away from their channels, if you think about it. So I don't know if I have much more to say about that. I have to stop and think for a second before I run out of battery. Just a quick little rant, you know. I noticed that I made some, I made a few comments recently that seemed to really strike a nerve in a few particular people. 
and uh, you know they just can't handle these these little little things. They 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 either don't like to hear what they don't like to hear, you know. That's that's my theory. They just don't like to hear certain things that 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 trigger them or something like that. They just can't handle the truth. They can't handle someone else's point of view. Uh, what are they doing out here? If they're such big babies, I don't know. It's crazy. And I feel like a lot of the ignorance these days is just being fed by a lot of politicians spreading lies, twisting truth and stuff like that. And uh, I think it's getting kind of dangerous out there. People's ignorance is astounding these days. People have to go to school and realize that not everything is a giant conspiracy. Come back for some more. I'll be talking about some cameras. I got a camera bag video coming up. Check that out. It's just a silly video though. I got lots of silly videos. I got like for real and I like to combine the silliness with the uh, for real thing. So uh, check it out. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm in it be because I love it. That's another thing I want to point out. Got to be in this because you love it. I used to be in a band. I was in a band for a good 10 to 15 years, something like that. And doing a YouTube channel is a lot like being in a band. You have to love it. If you're, if you're in being a band for the money, then you're in the wrong business because the chances of you making it, regardless of how good you are, is just astoundingly small. You know what I mean? And it, YouTube may, may, may not be the, like kind of the same dynamic. I think a lot of people have a chance to make money and do things, but you shouldn't be in it for the money. You should be in it because you love it. You shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be too afraid of people's comments and dislikes and all that. If all that's getting you really, really down, then you should maybe rethink why you're doing it. I personally am doing it because I want to better myself. I'm trying to get better at a lot of different things. I'm trying to get better at just talking in front of a camera and kind of, kind of uh, organizing my thoughts as I speak is, is a good thing for you. And uh, the, the creativity, learning how to use software, learning how to use all this equipment and everything, learning how to look at uh, things objectively to, to give somebody a review. There are a lot of different things about this that are worth it for me to learn. And ultimately, I could care less if the YouTube channel really pans out because I really want to work in the industry making videos. I don't really care if I'm making YouTube videos forever. You know, I mean, that's it's 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 good practice and it's fun for me, but I'm not going to let it burn me out or something like that. You know what I mean? I'll quit. I'll just stop like that. I don't care. It's practice for me. I'm trying to get good at something and I want to get as good as I can at it. And if anybody has an issue with that, talk to the hand, <laughs> yo, <laughs> or whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. So I'm just going to wrap it up here and uh, give a big old like or dislike, do what you will. It doesn't really bother me. I'm still going to make videos. I'm still going to keep plugging away. You're going to see me making videos on this channel five years from now, unless there is no YouTube. Well, you might find me on some other platform if there is one. So, ha, take that you little, or gigantic crybabies and people who are awesome subscribers. I love you, I love you all. I'm gonna do this part in slow-mo like I always do. So don't freak out. Don't have a baby, don't have a cow. Ciao. It's more reflective of the childish. Yeah, it's more reflective of the child. It's more reflective. It's more reflective of the childishness. Yeah, I don't know. It's more reflective of the childishness. I can't even talk.